Hi everyone, in this video I would like to explain how to create a material master in SAP S4 HANA. So whenever you log into SAP S4 HANA, okay, so this is the login launch pad whatever you see, okay, and you see some tiles here based on your roles. So if you create an, if you want to create a material master, okay, so you need to go to this search button which is to your extreme right top okay so either you can give mm01 or else okay uh, you can type create material you can also type create material okay and then search here so it will give you <clears throat> all the list of uh, apps which are basically with this text create material if you want to directly go to the material master related transaction just type mm01 here so it will take you to that transaction or the tile or the app so it's loading see here i just type create material so it said create material governance create material create material create material cost estimate create material information so a lot of more other apps are there with these descriptions okay the more, more concentration is on create material which is nothing but mm01 okay so it's getting loaded now this is the tile or the app that we required okay now i will click on this material Now the big, so compared to yes, SAP standard, SAP ERP and SAP HANA, so we have the material master number increased by 40 characters. Previously it was 18 characters, now they have made 40. So now you can maintain a material with 40 numbers or 40 digits or 40 characters. Okay. So this is basically the change that has been, uh, uh, available in SAP S4 HANA compared to SAP ERP. So I'll also go through few of the changes that we see. Okay. Now let me create a material. I'll say raw 15, which is nothing but raw material 15. So and I'll say industry sector is um, mechanical. And I'll say this is ROH raw material. I'll say raw material okay so then i'll just go in select views here just to select which are the views you want to no external okay so there is something maybe they have changed the standard and so now if you see the look so this is a views uh select views i just wanted basic data one and two then purchasing, then MRP, then I need general plan data, and I also need accounting one and two. Okay, then say, say organization levels, then you give the organization. So, all my organization is 997 as my plan, and 997 a which is my store location and I select OK and now you give the description see these are the views whatever you see and you see, see the selected views in the initial screen have been marked with this icon here okay selected views okay now raw material let me put some screws okay this unit of measure is each Material group, let me pick from here. So the total look has been changed, right? So if you see compared to SAP, EIP and S4. So you can you can see the mandatory fields. You can only fill that mandatory fields. Let us go to that mandatory fields. And we do not have anything here. Go to basic data too. So there is no mandatory field here. Let me go to purchasing. So in purchasing, let me put auto pivot here, and 
status i will say it as active currently uh, in use okay and valid from let me put some past date okay continue then you can give the purchase group if you have let me give if you have a dedicated purchase group you can give that let me give some 250 okay and if you see there are no uh, quota arrangement field that is available here because we do not have that here so the field quota arrangement is totally removed from uh, uh, material master data so what they have done is uh, whatever if quota arrangement is there uh, if quota arrangement is there for a particular material it will automatically consider the quota arrangement there is no need to add so there was a special field which is quota arrangement and we we used to pick some validation like whether we need to consider it for a PR, PO. So, so that uh, selection indicator or the field with that values have been uh, removed from SAP S4 and now. Okay. Now let me select source list here and directly go to MRP1. So MRP type is something mandatory. Let me put some PD. Uh, for okay. Mm -hmm. for replacement or okay, forward consumption. No. Okay, let me put PD only. Then MRP controller. Uh, let me put as default lot size. Let me put MRP two. So there are no fees that are on the cost. Let me put some safety stock. Let me put some 50. Okay. MRP3. Plan delivery time is zero for external procured material. Okay. Let me put some plan delivery time. So it takes some four days. Okay. Now this is also fine. There are no important fees that are required. Then click on this button. MRP4. Individual collective material, this is fine. Plan storage data one. This is also fine, and this is also fine. So, once you fill that views, you can directly save it. Or if you want to, so like we have in SAP uh, standard. So we can directly go to one of the view if you are not selected in the initial view. So we can directly go here and you can maintain that data as well. There is no restriction that only the selected views in the initial screen has to be maintained. You can also uh, come here and if you have missed something selected, you have missed some, I, I missed some internal trade import uh, during my selection, okay, view selection initially, then I can select, come here and select here directly. So if I go here, you see, it will say check mark. Previously, it was not with the selected views. Now I can sell. I have selected here, and it the SAP considered this uh, view for creation. Okay. So like we have everything. If you see, you can have organization check, and you can have the additional data. If you go to additional data, you will see the additional data uh, tab as well. Okay. And you can say main data to go to the main data view. Okay, it is uh, just like uh, the standard SAP, but look and feel is something different. Okay, now raw 15. I'll, so one other, uh, okay, this is fine. So I'll directly create and I'll say save. Once I save, this material will be created in SAP save. Field variation class is required. Okay, so there is something we have missed. What is that? Accounting views. Yeah, so we have missed the accounting views. So let me put some valuation class here. 3000 is my valuation class. Okay, you can also give the future price if you want here. <clears throat> future price from suppose from next month, the cost of this would be 
150 okay you can give the value from date as well future price value date so from next month right so i'll say from first onwards now what is the current price so it says v so what is the current price i'll say 140 currently 140 in future it will be 150 from this date okay now let me go to costing accounting view 2 this is fine yeah ML. interesting why ml is not getting activated here okay let me save this material okay now let us see what system we use okay raw material 15 has been created okay so finally we are able to create a material in SAP HANA okay you can also view like go to more material display display material okay you can go here and you can view the data here continue say continue so it will say what data you want I just wanted to see this view or you can see so in this way you can also display the data Okay, thanks for watching this video. In the next video, what I'll do is I'll just cover the uh, important change that has been come in the source list in SAP S4 HANA. Thank you. Thanks for watching.